Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a few different styles of Happy Mail using just 12x12 12 12 sheets of paper. Over the past few years I have kind of hoarded 12x12 12 12 sheets of paper. Whether it's a full pad of paper or loose sheets, I have got so much 12x12 12 12 sheets of paper. And it's not very often that I use 12x12 12 12 sheets of paper to create scrapbook layouts or anything. When I use it I tend to cut it up into smaller sheets of paper. But recently I've noticed that my scrap paper drawer has become a drawer to to dump any pieces that I've cut down from 12 by 12 so I really wanted to find a way that I can use the 12 by 12 sheets of paper I've got without having a load left over once I'm done so last week I sat down with my 12 by 12 pieces of paper and I managed to find a few different ways of using a 12 by 12 sheet of paper where there is very little waste so I'm going to share those with you today I have created basically happy mail blanks so these are obviously yet to be decorated I'm not going to do any decorating in this video this video is just to share the different ways that I've come up with and obviously like the sizing and how to do it and stuff. The first way that I have created a piece of Happy Mail with a 12 by 12 is like this and this just has two folds in it so you have like three different sections. The difference between this one and this one is that this one folds all the way around like it lines up with both sides whereas this one has like a gap here. I thought I'd show you two different versions of this way because you can alter this to a certain size. For example if you had a postcard you wanted to send in with the letter and it was a certain width you could measure that and make this to fit around it this is another way you can do it and obviously this is done very similar to these ones and then this one is a little bit more time consuming but I really love how it turns out I'm going to be using 12 by 12 papers from the capsule elements wood collection by paper mania so to make this one the first thing you want to do is fold the 12 by 12 piece of paper in half and then once you've done that you want to cut that in half basically and I'm using a guillotine to do this but you can use scissors if you want to make a piece of happy mail that is all neat and even then you're going to want to divide this sheet into three something to consider if you're doing it this way is that this can't really be filled like bulked because this is also even when you bulk up the middle the front flap will push out and everything will bend a bit if you want to make a piece of happy mail that you're going to fill up with a lot of stuff then you're going to want to make one which is a bit uneven so i showed you this one before where the smaller flap is on the outside but if you swap the flaps around so the smaller flap is on the inside when you bulk it out it's not going to morph the happy mail piece as much as it would if you use this one if you're going to do this one then you just have to split it into three if you're going for the uneven one i don't have an exact measurement i tend to just eyeball it if you have like a postcard or something that you want to specifically put in it it's probably best to get that out and then just put it in there and kind of wrap the flaps around it if you did want a measurement to go by this flap of this one like the smallest flap is 9.5 centimeters so you could if you wanted to measure 9.5 centimeters draw a line down and then you can just fold this to that line but yeah when i do it i tend to just eyeball it I don't tend to have an exact measurement in mind I just kind of go for it so yeah once you folded the first flap you're then going to want to fold the other flap around so that's the first bit done where you have your three sides with your two flaps you then want to find the other half of the 12 by 12 and you're going to use this to make little panels to go on the inside flaps again I do kind of eyeball this I try to leave four or five millimeters around the edge if you're making a few of these at one time then you could always mix and match the papers so if you had a yellow and a pink piece and you cut them both in half you can make yellow panels for the pink piece and pink panels for the yellow piece I'm obviously only making one at the moment so I'm using the same paper for the inside and the outside so yeah I am gonna go cut this up and I'm gonna speed up this footage because there's not really much to say about it but you'll be able to get what I'm doing from just watching me so I'll get back to you when I have cut out the little panels <laughs> So these are my three panels and then this is all that's left over from the 12 by 12. After you've cut them out you just want to stick them on and then you have your 
piece of Happy Mail that's ready to be decorated. So this one, I could have it going that way. I could have the smaller flap on the inside. Obviously, the only thing you have to take into consideration when you're making this is the envelope size. You want to make sure it still fits in the envelope. So if you have an envelope that you want to put it in, then you can use that as kind of a size reference. The next piece I'm gonna show you is this one, and this is done in pretty much the same way. So I've cut my 12 by 12 in half, and the same as before, I'm gonna put one piece to one side. I'm gonna do the process that I didn't show you with the even one of the other one. Obviously, the other one was split into three. This one's being split into four. I'm making a mark every three inches at the top, and I'm doing the same at the bottom, and then I'm gonna just join the lines up. Once you've made the marks, you don't have to join them up into lines, but I'm doing that for two reasons. For one, it is easier to see when you're folding, and then obviously as well, it's easier to show you guys on here if you can see a line that I'm going by. If you wanted to, you could just fold this piece in half and then obviously fold them two inwards. But if you aren't so confident at folding and making sure that you fold it neatly and evenly, then definitely draw out the lines because it does help and obviously you can rub them out later. So for this one, you can fold it a few different ways. Here I have it in a kind of zigzag concertina. You can also fold it into a square so you don't have to fold the centre bit at all. You can have that flat. It's definitely worth drawing a line if you're doing that one because then you'll have a guide as to where to fold the two outside flaps in. You could have it so you then fold it like that. You could have it where you fold it all the way up like that. That one does get kind of tight so you might have to adjust the sizing a bit. I am just going to do the same as I've done here which is the zigzag. I think that's one of my favourite ways to do it. But yeah, there's a few options on how you want to fold this. Just go with whatever you want. So I've now folded it into the little zigzag and then I'm going to get my other half of the 12 by 12 and I'm going to eyeball it the same way that I did the other piece. Because all the sections are meant to be the same size, you could always use the first one that you cut out as a template to cut the others. And the same as before, this is the leftover. There is really not much at all. And then, of course, you just stick them down. The last thing you want to do is rub out the lines that you drew. And then the last one I'm going to show you is this one. And this one is probably my favourite. It just looks really cool. So this is to be decorated very much like the other ones. So you can decorate the middle, you can decorate the flaps and stuff, and then you can fold it all up and put some twine around it. It's not meant to be stuck down like an envelope because of course if the person who receives it opens it and rips it then it kind of ruins what's on the inside. This one has a little bit more waste from the 12 by 12 sheet than the other ones. Out of the three that I'm showing you, this one does involve a lot more measuring. So the first thing you want to do is measure out a seven by seven square. So seven inches by seven inches and you're gonna to want to cut that out. And the same as before, you want to keep the things that you cut off. So once you've cut out the seven by seven piece of paper, you are gonna to want to lay it out in front of you like this. If you have a preference as to which way up the pattern goes, then it's best to figure that out now. This is going to be the top flap, this is the bottom flap, this is the left and right. So make sure you've got the pattern the way up that you want it. You're then going to turn it over and you're going to draw a line from the top to the bottom corner. This is pretty much just a guide for folding again. You then need to measure an inch in from each of the left and right corners and then you're going to want to join those two points up. So once you have those drawn out, you can then start folding. So the first fold you want to do is the bottom corner and you want to fold it up to the horizontal line you drew. Next you need to fold in the left and the right corners. So these ones should line up with the bottom flap. There should be no overlapping whatsoever. And then once you've done those you just want to fold the top flap in and again this one shouldn't overlap with the left and the right sides. If some of your folds aren't quite perfect there might be a bit of a gap but that's not a massive deal because at the end of the day you're going to have pretty patterns on the inside so if there is a small gap you're not going to see it as much so once you've folded all the flaps you just want to rub out all of the lines that you drew you're going to want to bring back the pieces of paper left over from the 12 by 12 and then use these to make the little panels for the inside so yeah, i'm going to cut out all the panels and stick them down and then i'll talk to you again once i've done that
so there we go that is the last one and as you can see there is a lot more left over from this one before I tried making a 7x7 one I did try an 8x8 but there wasn't quite enough paper left over to make all of the panels so I managed to make enough triangles but I didn't have quite enough paper left over for the middle panel but obviously this could still be used as an envelope for one of the other pieces of happy mail for example this piece would fit quite easily inside this one and if I wanted to I could always stick this piece up here with the gap at the bottom so when these bottom pieces are stuck together like an actual envelope you won't see the gap at the bottom which isn't covered in paper you'll see the pretty paper at the top but yeah that was kind of my trial and error with that one if you're going to use it as an envelope you might think that it's a bit pointless putting the triangle panels on as well but the panels actually make the paper a lot stronger I mean you could still use it as an envelope just like that like without the panels but once you add the panels to one of these pieces it definitely feels a lot more durable and you'll understand what I mean when you make your own so yeah that is my little video on how to use 12 by 12 paper to create pieces of happy mail please let me know below if you have any questions on any of the things I've mentioned in this video I will of course try and help you the best I can as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video